Good evening. Tonight, the suicide of a Warren County teen is gaining nationwide attention and sparking a movement for the acceptance of transgenders. Joshua Alcorn's birth certificate listed her as a boy, but she wrote in her suicide note Sunday she was a female and wanted to be referred to as Leela. Nine on your side, Jason Law spoke to Leela's family and friends about her devastating suicide note. He is with us now with more. Jason. And ladies, the transgender community is really focusing on this teen's suicide as an example of what they call intolerance and ignorance towards transgenders. She was born Joshua Alcorn, but wrote in her suicide note Sunday she wanted to be remembered as Leela. Police say Leela died Sunday morning when she was hit by a semi truck in the middle of Interstate 71. She was only 17. Her blog on Tumblr blasts her parents for pulling her out of school a year ago, sending her to counselors and not accepting who she really was. Here's some of what she wrote shortly before committing suicide. Quote, the only way I will rest in peace is if one day transgender people aren't treated the way I was. They're treated like humans with valid feelings and human rights. Gender needs to be taught about in schools. The earlier, the better. My death needs to mean something, end quote. We spoke earlier today with Vicki, an advocate with the transgender support group, Crossport. There is a terrible, terrible conflict and pull in both directions. And especially as a teenager, to conform. To conform to, in Leela's case, to conform to being a boy. Coming up all new at 6 o'clock, I spoke with Leela's friends about her suicide note. You'll be surprised where they say she received the most support. We'll bring that to you on 9 on your side at 6 o'clock.